Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Fimir and Rick Schiavone. Hello! <laughs> Fans of Monday Night Claw! Here we are, another night with a show full of action and emotions and victory and despair waiting for you. <laughs> hello, family. Hello, WWE Universe. Hello, Jim. Great to be here for another Monday Night Claw where anything can happen. And uh, normally, though, we get a load of wrestling. <laughs> yes. There is usually... some wrestling ball at some points. There's <laughs> usually some wrestling. Sometimes some story bit brawling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so first off, we've got the Wemdorp Open Challenge. Anyone in the back might come out and answer the call. Volk for go. Um, yeah, he's the new champ. <laughs> how, how can you beat that which is transformed? Uh, he's got such a new zest for life. You can see the power. Is it psychological or has he really been buffed and strengthened? It's certainly showing in his performances. Well, he has horns on his head now. So yeah, I think uh, some physical transformation will involve. On a psychological level, Volk was already crazy before, so finally has the body to follow his mind. Oh! Wow, we talk about the transform. It's Gold Chunter. Gold Chunter has been- The Golden Chunter. He's been on a tear. He's, since he transformed into Gold Chunter, he, he really has been uh, on another level himself. So we've got the uh, the two transform transformed wrestlers. Yes, against he, each other. he became a legend. That's the goal, you know, finally reaching the 176 uh, star prior point that he needed to unlock the gold suit, <laughs> which probably means that now he will die. <laughs> Shiny Chunter indeed. Well. We may be, we finally have a match for the power of Vulcan the Horns. And he really has used the horns as well, hasn't he? It, it isn't just a showpiece. He has actually used the horns to pretty good effect during the matches. There you go, completely happy. I mean, well, that's it. His dreams came true. He's a champion now. It's a beast now. Yeah, what what more could he ask for? Is ev everything's come at once, hasn't it? Like you say, the, the championship, mean, the beast man. You know, if I could, I ask for a pillow on his face while he sleeps. You know, so he can just finally <laughs> go where he deserves. <laughs> but in the meantime, I guess we have to endure uh, this a little more. But hey, it's the GFW. Everybody, unfortunately, is welcome. <laughs> and we have a beastman here against a uh, rat. Yeah. Glorious. <laughs> it's not, it's, Jimbo is not an outfit, it's his actual uh, skin. Yeah, he is, he is transitioned to a, to a forgot. <laughs> I, 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 I think this one of these days someone is going to get a hold of this show. Get it the wrong way, and we're gonna end all of us in jail. Introducing the challenger from the Netherlands, weighing in at 220 pounds, Crystal Hunter. As Chunter looks really motivated and uh, pumped up for this one. He's ready to go. He wants to make his mark in a singles championship run in the JFW. He's tired of being listed as just a tag team expert. He wants to show us what he can do here one on one versus Vol. Yes, he is holding the title, the champ. Could have three, right? Could have Crusher, Volk, and Golden for Go, who is uh, the lesser spotted <laughs> Golden for Go. <laughs> Dressed for CCL grinding. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, yeah, chaos uh, stable there. He was united. <laughs> Meet the Fagos, that was that was a team that I had. <laughs> I know, here we go. 
Lock up showing off the respective strength. Nobody getting the upper hand yet. Oh, big knee from Volk. The champion making his mark already on Golden Chunter. Oh, this is not looking well. No, and uh, Chanter. Just, just the right size for the extra strength. Volk to toss around as he wishes. Oh. That could be it. No, no, but Volk, like the bloodline of a uh, Blood Bowl coach, wants to end it now. Certainly, he certainly does. Complete disdain for the abilities of Chunter. But finally. Oh, Yes, Chunter making his mark with a lovely suplex. Smashes Volk into the corner. Then a belly to back. Oh no, he's planting him on the top rope. What's he got As in As always, mind? Chunter going for the high risk maneuvers. He came off this time as well. Volk in a bit of trouble, makes the pin surely too early. Yes, one count for each. But he's made his mark now. Volk knows what he's up against. He's not in for an easy ride. Oh, Volk pops up from the scoop slam. It did nothing to him, and he just smashes Chunter down. Volk with his newfound strength and energy. Nothing seems to hurt him, and what a power slam. Sits down into it and tosses him off with complete disdain. Never has any respect for those that he tosses off, Volk. Chunter, oh. of course, no stranger to being tossed off with utter disdain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and now working con complete control. Oh, Brutal kicks to the guts. That's what you get for getting a gutter runner. Look, it's time to celebrate and then pin. Not the uh, not the smartest ordering of things to do from Volk. He's calling for the end now, though, but he calls too soon. He didn't see Chunter getting up, and he gets clobbered in the face. And he's paying the price badly now. Chanter, no stranger to uphill anything. Oh my goodness, the, the way Volk can just pop up off the ground, seemingly dead one moment, full of life and energy the next. It's not quite human. Oh. And he's going for the horns. Oh, oh, that's got to be it. Horns to the head of Golden Chanter. Oh, he's kicked out of two. Boy, howdy. Well, it's a bit disturbing that that isn't censored, isn't it? The uh, <laughs> In between the legs there, but never mind. Yeah, yeah, that was... Uh, now we know the price uh, Borg had to pay. <laughs> yeah, Ken Doll for go. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, my goodness. Two and three quarters, maybe two and nine tenths. How did Chunter kick out? This is so close to the end now, though. He's got to find something quickly or it's just done. And he might just tap here. Who would want to stay under Volk's armpit for much longer than this? That's a very good point. Or any time at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah Chanter. Wrong with animal genitalia, right? He's basically a goat these days. So, uh, so yeah, I, I don't see an issue with censorship. Mm. I've got no idea about goat genitalia, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, that's a. Uh, we need one of our Welsh experts uh, to <laughs> turn in, you know, and uh, keep us to date yeah, about that. But yes, <laughs> I'm sure Dio could tell us in great detail. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Oh, wow! I really could be it now. No, oh, that's no, no, Chanter. You see his back of tricks. <laughs> Always his disgusting tactics. Bit of a, bit of a natural one turn there. <laughs> we all know about Virgin Tilly, isn't there, Coakers, don't we? We, <laughs> we all know about Coakers. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. <laughs> this has been a, a bit of a slaughter, unfortunately. Chunt has had a few moments. Oh, he's coming back now. <gasps> Knee to the face, just as I rule him out. This could be all over. Oh, he's going to chant it out one of his famous oh. up kills. Oh. Massive feet to the oh. face. Oh. He's Borg a glass cannon. Has the gold won the oh. gold? No. Oh. <laughs> so close. Well, he's very much in this now. Both men are ready to go. 
Oh, oh. oh the bag of tricks. <laughs> Dirty rat. Dirty rat, absolutely disgusting. The most hated person in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Put him into it, no! Chooses to go another way. Oh, oh so good at stamping his ground. Yeah. Side suplex and a stomp, and he's right back on top. Is he going to ram him into the exposed turnbuckle? No, knee to the face. Lovely elbow drop from Chunter. Volk struggling to his feet. Doesn't make it. I can't see this quite finishing him. Mm -hmm. Didn't get close to finishing him off. No, I think he took too long, and he hadn't done a big oh. enough manoeuvre. Wow. <laughs> what a Brutal power bomb, bomb there. And it again, is. ready. Time for the blitz. Horns first. Boom. <laughs> GG. The champ is still the champ. Two. No. What? <laughs> Chanter wants to go to extra time. How can he have anything left? He certainly has no kick equity. Oh. And I'm sorry, there's no extra time. This was a turn 16 stall, and it's GG. Oh, now, now, Ooh. yes, I think that's it. It's, it's over. Be it. Absolutely brutal. Right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. And Borg Pagor achieves a deserved victory. It's a valiant effort from uh, Chunter, but he's, he's not quite getting that run going. He's, he's yes. well, but he keeps falling. Borg Pagor proving in complete opposition to his Blood Bowl career that he's not a joke in the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is not. And fellow respect here for those living as they want to live, whether it's a golden rat <laughs> or, a, or a beastman for gore. <laughs> happy with who they are. What a great match. What, what a lesson about integration, respect, you know, uh, and all that, that they have given us. Yeah, lovely. A lovely bit of furry solidarity at the end. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh boy! Well, now we've got a triple threat: three of the uh, uh, three of the oldest wrestlers in the JFW, some of the original. The original I'll take a second now. Absolutely glorious! We've got Unseen, Frosty, and Odot. Glorious! Hello, Flicky. Yeah, three absolute legends here. We've uh, we've seen a fair bit of Frostlord Army. He's been on a tear recently. Unseen Walkers popped up here and there. Odon, less so. Used to be, like you say, an absolute force. Was was really phenomenal in the early days of the JFW. Some say now he's a shell of his former self. Let's see if he can prove them wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious, oh, and I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much, Pepper Biscuit. It's just not possible to uh, enjoy JFW without a gift of so. <laughs> Thank you very much. So here's Frost Lord Army. He's been in the title scene a bit recently. He's, he's fought some of the biggest names in the JFW and uh, sometimes even got a win. Certainly always come close. And I feel like he's probably the favorite in this one out of these three. Yeah, he probably is. Uh, put my money where my mouth is and vote on the current running prediction for Frosty. I instantly regret that as there's now 20k on Frosty and 1.5 no, on Odom and Unseen combined. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Here comes Unseen Walker. Glorious. He's certainly got the power. Glorious. That's absolute okay. trolls player. I'm back. And yes, clearly. Just on time. Yep. You see the Mexican troll slayer. <laughs> Caminante Invisible, Unseen Walker. Oh, yeah. And thank you very much, Pepper Busy, for gifting us up to Storm, baby. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. He takes off his invisible helmet. 
such a classic. <laughs> so, a symbolic throwback to his ancestors, I believe. Brilliant, yep. Whoever they are, whatever they were. Some say he's related to Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> the countdown is on. Here we go. For on the distant past of planet Earth comes the one that evolution forgot. <laughs> He is indeed a prehistoric German turtle. <laughs> oh, With claws. In everything that he needs to survive in a hostile environment like the GFW. Yeah. Glorious. <laughs> totally no, I oh, and here is Johnny B. Good. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Keep trying, it's close. Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much, JBG. Absolutely glorious. glorious. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Woohoo! Jimmy, now you can get the proper glorious. chicken and the rice. No, I won't a give of a in chicken. until I'm victorious. <laughs> And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Oh, and then you can resell it for two gold and get yourself uh, something even better. Glorious. <laughs> there is nothing no, better than chicken and rice. Me. What the hell are you talking about? Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will, oh, oh, I will defend. A massive start from Frostlord Army. How has he got the power to send Unseen Walker flying like that? Beast of a man that he is himself. Oh, not already laid out. No, I now I see why everyone was predicting Frostlord Army. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> And I will Toying defend. with both of them I will easily, defend. smashing them both down as if they're not even there. Oh. Finally caught by Odon. Yeah, Odon got him, got him from behind. Thank you. And very I've seen much, Walker going on loco. <laughs> yep, unseen Walker showing his dauntless abilities and attitude here. Caught by Odon afterwards though. Oh. Frosty just celebrating a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's always smart early on to stay out of the action if the other two are going at it. But he's caught by Odon. Odon saw him doing it oh. and thought, no, I'm not letting you get away with that. <laughs> oh, and lays out on Sea Walker as well with a huge boot. <laughs> I, I, I already have a lifetime supply of wontons, which is none. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look at that, just tosses him off. But with oh, well, both he, landed hands. On his, he landed on his shell, so I think he'll be okay. Oh, oh my goodness! Brutal! Really tossed off Unseen Walker. <laughs> oh, headbutt. Forrest is a man on a mission, no, he I wants to go back to the path as soon as I'm possible. Victorious. <laughs> and I will oh, defend. definitely failed on that occasion. Crossword Army not even feeling the blows of Unseen Walker. Unbelievable. Thank you very much again, JBG. Incredible. Maybe maybe his PB I had them from like a shit uh I had them from a shit a shit place to be fair, so maybe yeah, I haven't had I haven't had nice one times if they exist. Took Odon three attempts, but he finally oh. got Frostlord down and actually out of the ring. Now going toe to toe with Unseen Walker. <laughs> oh, and what a what a, uh, a power slam, twisting power slam in the air, going to the top rope. Something <laughs> work here. Something Walker pretty happy up there. <laughs> yeah, he's just perched. Isn't he's, he? he's the tallest he has ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he should have stayed up there. And now he's the shortest. 
He's looking like a bearded vulture, isn't he? And, uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> totally so oh, Odon and Frosty both miss. Odon finally gets the better of it. Mm. Really, this can't be the first elimination. Oh, he wants to do more damage. Oh, Frosty in trouble now. Not for long. Powers through the leg of Odon, tripping him. Whoa. Oh. Just in time for Unseen Walker, but he takes out Frosty. Could this be Unseen Walker's moment? No. <laughs> <laughs> Frosty going for the count one. Nah. And we're a little bit early yet. We might need to see one of those patent pedigrees that uh, Frost Lord Army invented. Yeah, it's amazing invention, wasn't it? I don't know how he came up with that move. Great move, yeah. Oh, and he took too long. Oh. Odon catching him mid-swing. First of the punch and a nice scoop. Oh, beautiful move by Odon. A little bit. It, Unseen Walker was recovering there. I don't think this is going to get the pin. Not even close. No. I want to try doing a wrestling move, Odon. I know you haven't done this for a while. <laughs> I hear they help. <laughs> Bit of ring rust. Feel like cut him some slack. Oh, there we go. Buster. There we go. Beautiful quick pin. He's got, got him. him. And that's it. And Sing Walker is out. It's the wow. benefit of getting those pins in quickly. No chance to recover for your opponent. Like catching them on a two count, really. Yeah, and Sing got the shortest uh, part of the stick as expected. <laughs> And now is the evolution versus the prime son of the British Empire. <laughs> really impressive uh, toss out of the ring there from Odon, but he was exhausted afterwards. He's put a lot in. I think Frostlord's probably got a bit more in the tank. Odon oh. needs to finish this one. And oh, yes, Odon is destroyed. And now Frosty. He won't give up. He just will not quit. No matter how tired, no matter how much his body's <laughs> breaking apart. <laughs> Get out of the fucking way! <laughs> oh dear. That's probably what Odon was thinking. <laughs> we're, we're definitely seeing ring rust from Odon here, but he's uh, he's so determined, it almost doesn't matter. Yeah, Forrest is ready to start the kick off this again, and eat floor. He's wow. just too slow. That's twice now that Odon has caught Frosty mid-move attempt. And now Odon, oh, there's only one count, but surely he's got an Odontobomb lined up with Frosty's yeah, name. Oh, I think he's preparing great. Frosty for it. Here we Softening go. Softening him. Oh! Does his back hold? It does! Boom! Oh, oh I could hear the pain. He's no, in pain. His back's, gone. his back's gone. He's taken too long to cover. And he Crawling like a worm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> If only he could hook the leg. If only his back had held out. And now, if Frosty can recover. Yes. <laughs> oh, Hunters. right on the back. Oh, look at this from Oh, my goodness. He's so determined. He's so quick. I can't believe how quick he is after so long out the ring. I just don't know if his body's up to it anymore. Tries for the pin. Frostlord, though, in great uh, match condition. Total match fitness from him. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was going for another Odontobomb. I thought, it was I thought he was going for another Odontobomb. Nah, yeah, I think he's too awesome. tired. He's too tired. He needs to yeah. get a lock, a hold or something. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! oh! Look at the exhaustion, though, of Odont. It's going to cost him. It's going to catch up to him. You'd think a lovely scoop power slam. Oh, no. This could be it. Having to wipe the sweat off his face, though. Making him wait too long for that pin. That's the opposite and of what he two. did with Walker. He's good. Oh, my goodness. And did it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Frosty, like the back. England football team, does is not good in the long run. <laughs> Incredible return from Odon. What a showing to beat Frostlord Army. Not an easy task at the best of times. And I can only feel like he, he'll get better with more matches under his belt. I, I don't even think that was Odon at his best. I think we've got another gear to go. Yeah, incredible return from Odon.
We so don't. determined. So quick. And yeah, another another German defeat of England. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? <laughs> really came out of this show. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh well, what a Monday Night Raw we're having. <laughs> yeah, two incredible matches so far. An incredible lineup to go. And uh, yes, Rusty got the one-way bus ticket out of Darlington. <laughs> which, uh, how much is nowadays, Mrs. Wanger? How much is a thick bus ticket nowadays? <laughs> God, I haven't got a bus in ages. I bet it's a fortune. There you go, what a, what a match, what a win. Oh boy. Here we go, some, some Blood Bowl legends now, here. <laughs> yes, we have the uh, half of what the schools. Ah, oh, that's all right. A single or three times. It's more or the same price as that uh, in Edinburgh. Wow. It was probably about 50p the last time I went on the bus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, Jimmy. That could be past week or 10 years ago. <laughs> it was probably it was quite a few years ago, yeah. Those days when you went out of the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to do that anymore. Um, oh, it, shit, man. It is Elliot, yeah. Elliot, Space Cadet, K Fog, and Zetok. Glorious. You maybe know them by some of them play Strict with Brawl, and the others are just unknown characters. That... <laughs> Good there evening, was a promotion for this game what in a, for, for this match in a Rick's game. He managed to get he as an opponent ten skulls in a row, creating a new <laughs> probably new world record of what? incompetence <laughs> throwing block dice. That's <laughs> unbelievable. There was double skulls roll, double skulls. Okay, my turn. Double skulls roll, double skulls. Okay, my turn. Double skulls and. He didn't roll because he was a loner. <laughs> <laughs> yep, God. that was a really high quality match between two Chalice uh, coaches. <laughs> well, well worth the watch. <laughs> oh, Blood Bowl's not a stupid game at all. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here we go. Half of Quad Skulls, but they are in another sense a hole now as Rick has returned. No longer Triple Skulls, the full Quad Skulls, and they are feeling <laughs> that extra power, that extra buff. And we might see another level from the master tactician Space Cadet and the uh, the spirited, never give up Elliot. The endurance and the mind of Quad Schools are coming to the ring. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tony, me too. Now the Quad Schools now impetuous there. And now here comes. <laughs> the dance, dance revolution. Sito <laughs> and PTK. Yeah, phenomenal tag team in their own right. Um, often, so often the bridesmaid though, and never quite the bride. It's been a long, long time since they've uh, stood atop the tag team mountain. Maybe this could be the start of their climb. We have recent new champions. They need more opponents. So both these teams are going to be very determined tonight to prove Both of them have a lot to prove because they have a very poor performance in the last few weeks for what I'm expecting from them. Well, if you were expecting much from Elliot and Space Cadet, that's, you've only got yourself to blame. <laughs> I expect things, but probably winning is not one of them. <laughs> oh, here we go. Once again, Elliot in first. <laughs> the giant PTK. <laughs> Uh, su surprised that Space Cadet would want Elliot to be the first one in uh, against PTK. We know that he comes up with the strategy. 
And so it's his choice for it to be this way around. Let's <laughs> let's see how this works out. Elliot currently struggling, let's say. Pescadet is the one with sure hands, so yeah, he's uh, staying on the bench <laughs> for the next drive. Nice roll away from Elliot. In the upper hand of PTK for a moment. Yeah, very good. Oh, the no, that's attack there. Space not making Elliot wait long to come and help out. Oh, oh there you go. Me. What a pile of maneuver there. Yeah. Ooh, Instant counter by PTK. Yeah, regretting that tag already. Is this a camel clutch? I think it is. <laughs> no save from Elliot. <laughs> That's great, man. Oh, look at this. Space cadet. Yeah, pretty pretty quick space. He definitely has the speed advantage over PTK. Oh, what a moment here by Space Cadet. There you go. <laughs> wow. Using PTK his in weight trouble. against him. Oh, look at oh, the power of PTK. And PTK went with his classic. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Here comes Zetop for the first time, the freshest man in the ring, but that classic jawbreaker of Space Cadet. We've seen that many times into a spear. What a spear. Out of nowhere, Space Cadet clearly have been training. Yeah, incredible. Oh, Stops <laughs> the hammy. Then uh, Zetok powers back out. He's, uh, he's still got plenty left to give. Boots and stomps all over Space Cadet's body. Oh, the speed of Space Cadet once more. Too much for the blows of Zetok and uh, takes him down. And there you go. Space Cadet choosing not to pin, you know, because if he pins, uh, he could roll the Kios. <laughs> he also doesn't believe in tagging in tag matches, I believe. <laughs> At least he doesn't believe in receiving the tag for a while. Oh, nice oh. Yeah, again, the speed, getting that boot up as Zetot was coming in. Beautiful time. I think, I think this is the longest we have seen a Space Cadet in the ring yeah. in a long That's time. Now. And now, fantastic teamwork. ETK, oh. the man in the tag. Yeah, he wanted it, and Zetot was trying to crawl over, but uh, Elliot ruthlessly stomping a hole in his back, stopping him in his tracks. Now dishing out the punishment, sending him right back. Oh, into the Elliot's corner. getting routed there. <laughs> this could be it. He's taking a lot of damage, Zetog. Oh, yeah. He's tough. Brave stuff. Look at that rowdy. <laughs> oh, oh, he's up for it. S smashes him in the back. Oh, no. Surely he's just got to make a tag. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here we go. He's headed oh. in the right direction. No! Space, Space Cadet with a distraction! <laughs> amazing! Amazing! Master! Space. Master Tactician! No, no chance for a legal tag because the ref wasn't looking. Sharpest so, mine on Blue Ball. I mean, to stay in the ring, that was <laughs> genius from Space Cadet. <laughs> now, she top trying again. Yeah, next next match, Goliath. Next match. Oh, exactly, baby. yes. Whoa. And you're probably going to regret. <laughs> well, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Goliath Games would be making a huge statement if he uh, defeated Pepper Biscuit, that's for sure. Yep. Well, I'm pretty sure he will make a huge statement anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, Oh wow. no, the power of PTK! Oh, wow. oh he's got him! STF. Space What a maneuver, but... what a maneuver! Oh, what counter! <laughs> this cadet in complete beast mode here. Oh, spear in the corner! Oh, Space spear Cadet in the match? No, no. Trudgy. Oh. Is this it? Is this it? Trying to make the tag, but no, stomped into the floor again. Quad Skull's doing a good job of preventing the quick tags today. Really oh, kick to the face there, and now Space Cadet in trouble. 
Will Elliott make the save if required is the question. Oh, space! Fantastic maneuver there, <laughs> but oh, brutal PTK. Oh, oh, no, the, PTK. Choke slam. the choke slam! <laughs> Elliot, where are you? You've got to get in the ring. Does it go for the cover? Doesn't go for the He's cover. Just torturing him. Look at this. He enjoys it too much, doesn't he, PTK? I'm sure that's cost Dunstans in the past. The toxicity is so bold in here. <laughs> the famous so bold in PTK. Oh, PTK bomb. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well. Uh, what are you doing? No. <laughs> Elliot's so far away. Elliot in the ring oh, managed to break the tag. Zetlock did a pretty long Oh my job. god. I know Elliot gets annihilated. <laughs> yeah, wipes him out now. All PTK has got to do is make the cover now. There is no save from Elliot coming anytime soon. Oh, but space pops up. He was ready. Playing possum. And what a spear. What a spear. Oh, oh, what <laughs> Oh, he's basically the heart of himself. Oh, first, to, first to recover, though. Surfed his own player, but he's recovered now. <laughs> okay, okay. Back to the plan. Back to the plan. Bit of a frenzy trap there, or maybe a frenzy opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's the Space Cadet March. Oh, he's got it, surely. <laughs> there you go. Full run up. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> PDK struggling to survive. Is he going to the top? No, oh, he he's can't, confused. He can't do it. The brain worms. The brain worms too strong. Stamp to the hammer. Elliot popping around and popping again back from <laughs> the basement. <laughs> no, Still PDK able to endure this. I mean, this is probably the best performance I've ever seen from a space cadet. Yeah, Here comes sure. the fresh skull. Yep, Elliot using his speed. Eat it. Oh, look at the oh. strength of Elliot after the rest. <laughs> wow, what a maneuver. That could be it. Zetok needs to make the save here. What's he playing at? Oof. Yeah, I think he was confident, but I don't think he should have been. That was really Oh, cool. Elliot getting rowdy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't want to be on Come the end on. of a rowdy He's Elliot. demanding it. <laughs> oh, counter by PTK? Yes. He, he took too long. Oh. There's the tag. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's absolutely flying. So, so much height on that. Elliot refusing to give up. He doesn't know how to give up. Oh, look at this. Zedok's going to fly and in a way that he never wants oh. to. With Ryan Air. <laughs> oh, kind of a magnificent maneuver by Zedok. <laughs> yeah, this is nicely turned around. He had taken a beating outside now after the, uh, the initial upper hand. Wiped out on the fencing. Space coming to help. Oh, yeah, Space is oh, yes. Oh, yes. back. Wow. Look at the strategy of Space Cadet. Next level Absolutely start. master tactician there. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it was great, wasn't it, Bessie? <laughs> oh, dear. Here we go, Elliot. self that could be it. into a submission. Look at this. Where's PTK? This could be it. The rowdy lock. <laughs> Brilliant effort from Elliot. Is he going to tap? He's still in it. He's still stuck. He can't get to the ropes. Mm. Oh, Elliot gives up in the end. Run out of strength to hold on. Still no signs of life from Zetok, though. I mean, was he even alive in the first uh... <laughs> case? And now, oh my God. What teamwork there. And now, oh, I think... Oh, he gets the, he gets oh, the time. Oh, oh, space, no. Space instantly oh. regretting. Now he gets oh, it. Oh, no. A space went to destroy the big man. <laughs> wow. This is That's space. That's nowhere to be seen. Space. Oh, but oh, PTK counters. KO. KO punch from the floor. <laughs> oh, he's already back on top. 
This is definitely Quad Skull's moment. While Setok is completely oh. out of it, and what a move. Make the pin, no. <laughs> Don't stop. There oh, you go. It's the space get that foot fetish. This could be it. <laughs> it's a cloverleaf. It's beautiful. <laughs> is he going to tap? That's it. That's a space cadet telling PTK, fuck you and fuck your one turners. <laughs> He's having to let go of those legs awfully heavy to keep holding on to. Go for an armbar instead now. He could get the finish this way instead. He's absolutely demolishing the body of PTK. He, he won't be able to throw no. the dice in his new in his next NAF tournament. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, oh, Elliot getting really rowdy in the corner. The fans getting rowdy with him. <laughs> that night that him. quad schools have been looking uh, forward for a long, long time. Sweet, sweet victory here, but. Oh, Setok intervenes. Counter by Elliot, and now Elliot. Oh, the quick tags from Quad Skulls have been phenomenal tonight. They've been a much more oiled unit. I think we are seeing another level now that the Quad Skulls are complete. Very true. You are not, uh, Ricky's not even in the ring. This is all Elliot and uh, Space Cadet that have been carrying the team on their shoulders for a long time. If, if you know that your body's got an injured leg or an injured arm for me, you're, you're never at your best. <laughs> yeah, mate, he's like, I was trying to think of a joke. You know? <laughs> it's too difficult, and then it had gone too long, so I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could be over. What's Elliot got in store? The self rock bottom! And he rolls it into the submission. Zetok surely got to make the save. Why is Zetok refusing to ever get in the ring to help BTK? <laughs> BTK is. He's been getting and it's all an over. absolute epic beating and now humiliated by Elliot and his fish cadet. Well, i got to say, phenomenal performance from Quad Skull. Absolutely beautiful teamwork. It really was, but yeah, poor from Zetok. And he was acting and pissed off there at the end. I mean, well, he should have gone in and helped, shouldn't he? That was... Pretty poor from Zito. He really did leave. Yeah, not uh, not not the best opposition to uh, to win against, but they still, you know, you got to beat what's put in front of you. And to be fair, jokes aside, phenomenal strategy from Space Cadet tonight. The decision to go outside and take out Zetok when he was beating on Elliot was was awesome. Perfect uh, tactic, perfect strategy. You know, uh, give that man a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> What a victory for Elliot and Spiska, the, the two members that probably have suffered the most in the last uh, few months, having to carry, meanwhile, uh, Rick was recovering. Mm -hmm. But now everything is ready, and now we have talking about suffering immense amounts of pain. <laughs> Extreme rules between Goliath versus Pepper Biscuit. Yeah, falls count what? anywhere. Two of the giants what? of the JFW. Four. What's the weight category above super heavyweight? <laughs> yeah. It's Goliath. How <laughs> 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 about the super heavyweight? You have a, a, tank. a national champion of a Blood Bowl, and over them is the World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft Raid Leader. <laughs> Dreadnought, nice. He, Dreadnought, so yeah, weird. that's good. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. This one's going to be pure destruction. And there is the Goliath with his entrance to wreck the panties of the ladies in the audience. Uh, we've seen Goliath get some pretty monstrous wins in the past. He is certainly up for the mark. It, it, this is not. Some people will say Pepper Biscuit, unbeatable monster, absolutely incredible wrestler. And that's all true to an extent. But don't rule out Goliath Games. He has it in his locker, in his arsenal, to uh, to get the win tonight. He sure does. He's got a lot of things up his arsenal. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, he's a massive size, uh, able to fill with everything. <laughs> That's 
what I called an oiled unit. <laughs> he is quite oiled. Not as oiled as Fault Force, but uh, he's up there. A middle ground, it's a middle ground. <laughs> so carrying his cars in his face. Look at the definition in those quads. I've seen Mr. Olympias that would be jealous of those. <laughs> In pepper biscuit is a night of romance for a Goliath. <laughs> he always just looks like he's gonna I break the ring. Sorry, as well. I feel sorry for the three or four uh, viewers from Rick that were still here, <laughs> <laughs> or whoever just entered the channel. No, I won't give in until yeah, I'm victorious. A different idea and of I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Glorious, thanks Goliath for gifting us up. Glorious. <laughs> Holding up the mat, yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> and his he is PB. Yeah, Pepper Biscuit. You know, he normally has an intimidation advantage, I think. He gets halfway to the victory before it's even started. I. I'm certainly always shuddering when he comes out, but I got a feeling he maybe doesn't have that advantage over Goliath Games. Goliath Games up for this one. Carmen in control. Pepper oh, yes. Have to get it done in the ring. Both of them are uh, very high in the traumatizing scale. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> lies beneath the mask. Many say you don't want to see it. Some say maybe another mask. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, what a start. No intimidation indeed for Goliath Games. <laughs> He knows he has the size advantage, even against the monstrous Pepper Biscuit. Holy shit. Toe to toe so far. Boom! Massive punch. And look at the power of Goliath. Oh, Games. Pepper Biscuit is clearly not used to be treated like a doll in a jail. <laughs> yeah, Goliath Games can just go ahead with his normal strategy. He can do this to pretty oh. much anyone in the JFW. Pepper Biscuit, though, used to being the, uh, the giver, not the receiver. Yeah. Herp, herp. Base, base, no base. power button. This won't fail. I'm on the He's herp, the herp, neck herp. breather, not the pillow biter. <laughs> God. Well, are we oh. sure we know what PB stands for? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, Goliath, then there is a trick. Stop watching. <laughs> And biscuit in big, big problems here. Wee! <laughs> Goliath Games Ooh. giving it to him, both barrels. <laughs> yeah, trying to rip tank. his head off again, unbelievable. The tank is fully loaded, let's go. Oh boy, Marcel's in the chat. Incredible. Oh my word, and he sits into a Boston Crab. If that looks devastating from a normal wrestler, imagine the weight of Goliath Games behind it. Goodness me. Whoa, the power of Pepper Biscuit, though. Well, here we go. Savage elbows coming up. Maybe? No? What's this? Oh, Doesn't he... have the power. Goliath's can't got hold. Him, yeah. Just can't hold like... Goliath Games like oh. that. But look at what he can do. What a power slam. <laughs> Needs a moment, though. Feels like he oh, needs a great equalizer. Oh, knows he needs a weapon. Oh, he does. The big equalizer. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, man. We just got extreme. And don't forget, falls count anywhere. He could end this right now. Oh. <laughs> big boot again. Brilliant recovery by Goliath. 
Mark Games needs no weapon but himself. <laughs> Onto the chair. Nice. And he misses. Pepper Biscuit fighting back now. Does have a slight speed advantage, getting the blows in first. <laughs> oh, Baby Biscuit went for the eyes. Oh, wow. Oh, -ho! massive double underhook onto the concrete. Goes for the pin. Not even close, though. Life Games, there's a lot more left to give. What Pepper Biscuit didn't realize is Life Games likes getting a good blow. <laughs> oh, what a combination! What a combination! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no, he powers out! Man, these two are absolute specimens, aren't they? It's incredible what we see from them. It really is. Side motion makes it. Okay, PB oh getting goodness. psyched up now. As if he wasn't crazy enough already, he reaches stage two. <laughs> Absolutely mad. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. No. No way. <laughs> oh, Goliath. What a demonstration there by people of this squid. That's got to be it. You can't be Goliath's size and, and survive that. Oh my goodness. He somehow kicked out. <laughs> what a fight. Human. He just isn't human, is he? No human being can do that. Well, Goliath's. Pretty much peak human, isn't he? He's absolutely massive, six foot eleven, four hundred and twenty pounds. He is an absolute monster. Jesus Christ, like a death roller made of flesh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even Goliath suffering here, though. We haven't seen any offense from him in a long time. Now he needs to find something. Back into the ring. Keep the swing control here. Still kicking out at two. How much longer can he keep that up, though? He has so much devastation and destruction himself. If he can find something, Goliath Games, it wouldn't take much for him to turn this around. But we haven't seen anything in ages. Like oh. I say, he's oh. busted open. Oh, gosh. We front row and center to see that cut happen. That was sickening. Oh, he gets out of there. Oh, Goliath is now angry. Not playing anymore. Oh! oh. Oh, that could be it. No, oh not even a God. one count. It's... What is he up against? He is peak human. That's what worries me. <laughs> one of the one of the greatest human specimens you could ever see, Goliath Games, giving his all and still not really getting anywhere. <laughs> this this is just a monster. This is not a man. This is another being. Come on, Goliath. Get up the ropes. Come on. Just in time. Oh, oh not, not again. Oh, he's going to throw him outside? No, power bomb. That's, That's gonna ridiculous. Be yeah. That's, uh, unfortunately, I think this is it. Whoa. Oh, no. Goliath. Whoa. So spirited. Wow. Oh, but he's just And again, oh, more again, punishing. Oh, God. The injury. Widening the cut. Worsening the blood. Oh, man. It's got to be a tap. Put him in the camel clutch. Break his He's back. He's powered out. Make him humble. <laughs> He's powered out, though. What's he got left to give? Oof. Going for the neck. Oh, the choke slam. Choke slam. Did you see this cool beat? Yes. Yes, he's got him. Go <laughs> on, Goliath. Oh. Imagine trying to kick Goliath off you. Oh, no, he, he, incredible. He had, he had it. No. He was done. He was done. Oh, he's going for a weapon. Ooh. He's like, right, I couldn't get it done. But I know what can. Oh, Seven. the ladders. <laughs> Instant oh, ladder. Oh, my goodness, the ladders. Oh, this could work very, very bad for Goliath Games. 
Oh, too much of a distraction. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stage three. <laughs> Oh my word. Oh, maybe there is a. Oh, there was a glimmer of hope there. But people are being squid. What's he going to do now? Oh my, oh my oh god. My <laughs> day. That can't be possible. <laughs> what are we watching here? EJ. Oh! No, no way. <laughs> wow, we thought Pepper Biscuit kicked out late. That one was from last week. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Well, what a performance gone. by Goliath, but I think... Now it's done. But incredible, yeah, Goliath kept kicking out. Swung in right. there, got the chokes, and nearly won. Whoa, oh, wait, what? oh, wait. What on? Uh, People in this is absolutely desperate. The live game is just saying no. I am. I am not. No matter what, staying down. Oh, oh my oh, god. No. Oh, right on the wound as well. Oh man. Oh, the live game is fighting back. <laughs> fighting back. Trying to get some time with her uh, pain. Trying to recover. It's a standard two count. Oh, what's he going for this time? The ladders didn't work out too good. He better find something better. Oh, he's losing oh, it himself. He's absolutely just, losing it. Yes, trying, he's trying to, to recover the thing. Yes, to fight the, the oh, mental no. trauma. The ref's not there. The ref's not there. What is the ref playing at? How much do we pay these refs? The professionalism, unbelievable. Should have got about a six count there. Only a two. That just that just pisses him off. <laughs> Oh! oh! You find another choke slam. Sidewalk slam's pretty nice. On the oh. concrete. It could be enough. The ref, though, is gone again. What is this ref doing? This is one of the hardest matches that Pippi the Biscuit ever had to fight in a long, long time. And now. Tombstone! Tombstone! Tombstone. 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 Open. That's got to be it. Open. Brutal. The ref's anywhere. The ref's here. And here comes the ref. Here comes the ref. One, two, it's yes, three, and that's it, that's it. Goliath is the oh. monster. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. The power of oil. Beat the oh, monster. One of the most determined, rugged performances we've ever seen. How on earth did he hang in there to get the finish, let alone fight back and do enough damage to beat the monster that is Pepper Biscuit? Goliath Games now, possibly jet propelling himself to the top of the JFW. I'd love to see him in a huge match soon after that victory. Glorious. No, I won't give yeah. in until I'm victorious. And he I was defend. done. I will defend. People risking you thought he was done, but no. Goliath wasn't playing any games tonight. It did both look amazing, Night Demon. No one came out of this looking bad. We know how great Pepper Biscuit is. For Goliath Games to find it in himself, to survive the damage of Pepper Biscuit that no man does, and then to do the damage himself to get the win. Holy moly, that is next level. We haven't seen a performance like that in a very long time. No. What a return to the ring of Goliath Games. What a statement. It was absolutely incredible. I'm the best four. Thank you very much for the <laughs> sub as well, guy. Glorious. You are, you. you are the best. That really was. Wow. Yeah, and now, more tag team action. The rest of the quad schools versus Zdenik and Gengar. Yes. The personal crusade of the quad schools versus Six Feet Under enters a new stage. I don't know how this lives up to the last match. It, it's certainly incredible on paper. Uh, the, the, the completion of the quad skulls, Rick returning versus the incredible power of six feet down under and what we've seen them do in the past. This is, uh, Gdanik's been on an absolute tear himself. This is a, a wonderful, wonderful match. Yeah. Yeah, Gdanik did die in, in the JFW, not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a long time ago, actually.
Got his if Gdanik died in forever. real life, he'd just bend space and time and, and change it. It'd be fine. Yeah, that would be all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Danik survives in his own uh, daytime. It's it's fairly straightforward. Yeah, ex exactly, Space. It's already pretty messed up. <laughs> and uh, here they come. Let's go. Time to get it done. Space right. You know, the, Rick and uh, Jabal have a performance to live up to. Yes, yes, now all the weight over the Ricks and Jack's shoulders. <laughs> the other part of the team did their job. Really would be making a statement tonight if they picked up the win as well. That's for business, yeah, that's what Quad Skulls is. <laughs> oh, there are some Australian flags in the audience. Maybe Kadena could get a little bit of support here. Oh, yeah, he always gets a bit of support. He just bends space and time, so he gets it. Exactly, yes. Existing. And now, here come. Here they come. Jadenik and Genga. A team of few words. But a massive list of successes in the ring and outside the ring. One of the best in the world now at Storybook Brawl. <laughs> yeah, he Wait, is. What? He is, yeah. Already? Good. Yeah, he's top, top 20 or something. He got. Hit 22 last I heard. He might have dropped a bit since then. I don't know. But yeah, it was, 20, it was 28 for a while and then got up to 22. Pretty good. I'm going to be top 16 next, next month. I've decided. Uh, maybe the rest of the players have yeah. uh, other opinion, uh, Jimmy. No, it doesn't matter. It's okay, Jim he's done. doesn't mean he'll be one of the top 16. He means he'll be all 16 of the top 16. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that I know about making alts on Steam, don't worry. I'll fill up. I'll fill up all of the top 16. Jim guarantee, yeah. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Because it's a Jim guarantee, damn it. <laughs> Oh, not an inch given between uh, Gdanik and Rick. No friendship among these two. Oh, brutal. Brutal suplex there from Gdanik. The Aussie suplex machine, as nobody calls oh. it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> here comes Rick trying to get a hold of Gdanik, but he goes the other way around. We, uh, we do see Rick take a bit of damage. He's, uh, he's not impervious to pain, but he's very, very good at fighting back, isn't he? I think that's, that's really where Rick comes into his strength. Never gives up. Um, the, the one exception was, uh, was when he broke his leg at Hell in the Sun. Yep. Oh, oh, did any oh. Push in those knees? Going after the, uh, yeah, the only recently healed leg. We still don't know. It's not fully tested just how strong it is. Gdanik determined to find out. Oh, Rick is getting angry. He didn't, didn't like that. Didn't like it. The chip shot. He didn't. Ooh, oh, what a counter. What a beautiful maneuver. Wrenches the arm. Oh, but a nice counter himself from Gdanik. Back and forth here. Beautiful stuff from these two. Very Gengar time, though. Uh oh. <laughs> Skill to power. It is the hour. Too sweet to be sour. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rick, Rick getting great elevation on the uh, kick there. Not easy to get Gengar in the head. Looked like he was going for the tag. Yeah. yeah I think Gengar he was trying to get way. away from the seven foot monster, but <laughs> failed. Pretty hard to get around Gengar, to be fair. Oh, the speed of Rick. Gengar had him dead to rights, and oh, somehow Rick Oh, but Gengar down. counters. Oh, my word. There's no counter in that from Rick. Oh, but he finds the cheeky tag. Wow, <laughs> Space Cadet clearly oh. laid out the strategy here as well. And Jack oh. Moore already had to a bad start. Strategize that, says Gengar. How do you beat power like that? 
Dining back in the ring. Jack Bull in trouble. Can't find the push up. <laughs> oh, he can! He found the push up! <laughs> he always finds the push up. He needs to find a little bit more. There it is! Oh, oh. beautiful. No Rick And the Dining, yes. This side stood in the ring. Oh, Jack Bull missing, though. Then finds it on second attempt. Nice counter from uh, Gazani. Back and forth again here. Beautiful punches from both men. Nice block from Jamal. And now he's going back and Gazani blocks. Holy moly. And then he misses with a slap and he's into the steps. Wow, brutal. If he wasn't already dead, I'd say he wouldn't be eating for a week. <laughs> Goodness me. Counter after counter. No man fully getting on top. Gazani tossing him off. Seven, count a seven here. Oh. Eight. 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 Oh. famous for his uh, tactics and strategies. Oh. oh. Nearly just there. The, just getting the push up inside on the outside. Gets back in. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> that would have been amazing, Gdanik winning by just existing to the count <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh Gengar! Absolute master tag of the tag team, Gengar. Cheap shot. Always with a cheeky punch. Jabal in trouble now. Rick not making the save. Confident Jabal can find the kick out, but Jabal needs to make the tag. Kicking out, not enough by itself. Oh, and Gengar. Gengar is getting ready. He's pump up. He wants to enter the ring. He, he is pretty sweet, Pepper Biscuit. Yeah, he, he is Night Demon. He is really good at the tagging. You wouldn't think so for such a big powerhouse, but he's got some sneaky moves up his sleeve. He doesn't say much, but he gets the business done. Oh, but the power from... Gengar is a complete away. mystery. Nobody knows where he's from or anything. We just know that he loves beating people and piling on. <laughs> he, he likes fouling and piling on, yeah. But, uh, and apparently Marmite sandwiches. That's that's how. Uh, oh, the ref! Oh, 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 even the ref! Even the ref is out. Oh man! Poor oh, Jabal, so desperately in need of the tag, manages to get outside though. At least he can't be finished here. Other than by count out, nice side rushing leg sweep as well. Caught Pepper Biscuit on the exit of the ring. A punch did absolutely nothing. Trying another one. Deary me. Ooh, How do you like this? Oh, oh my god. Sheesh. Oh, into the ring post. Oh no. So desperately in need of the tag. This is horrific. Fighting back seven. He does have some fitness, does Jack Ball. Find the tag, Jack Ball, for goodness sake. No, he's going back after him. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. Resetting the count. Grabs him down by the arm. Finding a submission. Oh, wow. Nice. Does know his MMA. Second only to Calcium Kaz in the MMA experience in the JFW is Jack Ball. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Fight on that. Got some dastardly plans for him now. Oh, no. Oh, what a slam. Oh, Gengar. Oh, wow. Oh, so my cool. God. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> what a crazy move that is. <laughs> oh, my God. And now Jidenik just existing. <laughs> going for the pin, probably. No, he still wants to hard more yeah. the Jack Bull. Straight Jack to a Bull. submission. Oh, Jabal fight back out. Get to Rick, Jabal, for goodness sake. Get to Rick. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. He's got a tag, isn't he? He has to tag. He's making a massive mistake here. He has chances to tag. He needs to run to Rick. Maybe he's worried about Rick, you know? 
Yeah, and the injured leg. Yeah, he might not want to put Rick through too much this early on his return, but uh, he's only going to end up. But that's himself. not his choice to make. That's Rick's choice. Oh, well, Agenga was wrestling. going for the cheeky punch again. <laughs> Quick tag. <laughs> Made about five times the tags of Quad Skulls, haven't they? Six feet down under. They are just tag teaming is so much better. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, I know, Engel. Oh, no. Just oh, in no. the face of Rick. This Rick is. Got to make the save here. This is painful to watch. Oh, lucky for me, I don't like Jack Bull that much, so yeah, it's okay, but this is, <laughs> if Tag I care Rick. about that guy, I'll be devastated. For goodness sake, Jack Bull Tag Rick. <laughs> a great job on Gengar now, but uh, but it's only, he can't have much left in him, it's only a matter of time. Wow, that is nice. Now, Tag Rick, for goodness sake. Oh, no, no, no he's off. going for the top rope. Oh, maybe oh, this no. is the jumping jack splash, maybe. Yes, yeah, seems to be, seems to be getting ready. Oh, hit. Beautiful splash, and he's going for the win. <laughs> is this it? Two, three, and that's it. And he won. And he won. Does this mean that Rick is absolutely unnecessary in the quad schools? <laughs> Well, they weren't winning though before Rick came back. Yes, and Rick has pulled a space cadet, you know, just been on the ring for a few seconds, achieving victory. I, I, I think, yeah, in a way, I feel like that was all Rick. I, you know, I think we underestimate his uh, contribution in that match. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> what contribution? Appearing in the photo shoot. Wow. <laughs> What a performance from Jack Bull. What a performance by Jack Bull. What? <laughs> uh, Probably the best statement. solo performance in a tag match we've ever seen. It was effectively yes, a handicap win. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And now we are coming to the main event. Escuro Mezzo versus Night Demon. Escuro Amazing taking scene. things on his own hands. Amazing to see Skuro back. Um, one of the greatest of all time in the JFW. He's had some time away. but uh, and, and is he back at his best? Is he back for good? Um, we'll find out because beating Night Demon is making about the biggest statement you can make in the JFW. If he wins tonight, you know, JFW is the Skuro show. But if he loses, then that, that could be uh, all she wrote in a very short amount of time. Yes. So it's, it's all to play for. Especially now in these times where the GFW is going to get divided between uh, Teresa Mayim and uh, Jim C. McMahon. <laughs> yeah. So every wrestler needs to make a massive impact to be able to reach the best contract. Making his yep. way to the ring. Uh, here comes Scuro Mezzo. What an entrance. Designed for the man himself, not only a wrestler, also an artist. A true Leonardo da Vinci of pain. Gengar's awesome, isn't he? He really is awesome at the tag teams. But yeah, Nick was terrible. He just existed at the end, didn't he? There was no no effort from Nick to stop the pin. <laughs> As usual. Great entrance for school, isn't it? No expense spared. There you go. <laughs> Spent half the JFW budget on himself. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby! Here comes Escuro. He looks serious. He looks ready for business, doesn't he? he doesn't look like he's lost a step. It's uh, oh my word! Yep, there's another half a million on pyrotechnics. <laughs> there you go. Well, it was to be used here with Escuro or in the hands of the Taliban. So the pyrotechnics better to be used here. <laughs> Me too, PB, me too. Mm. 
But that's the Skuro we have. An absolute beast, Night Demon. Does anyone know who was the owner of that school that he carries around? I mean, he's carrying a human school for God's sake, you know? <laughs> It's a good fun. <laughs> 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 Just did intellectual property. Sorry, fun for. Apparently, the, the quad skulls did used to be the pent skulls, but they didn't really like the sound of it, so they, they gave one away. <laughs> Here he comes. And let's not forget that the uh, Night Demon is not only the extra arms champ, it's also the uh, stream champ. Yeah, yeah, incredible match he won. Well, he eliminated every single opponent himself. <laughs> yeah. Leaving no argument for discussion. But now it's Kuro here. Oh, yeah. Nice bit of speed. No countered by Night Demon. Oh, dear. Are we getting one of the Night Demon squashes? Oh, boy. Come on, oh Skuro, boy. Do something, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh but Night Demon hit in the face. Oh my word. <laughs> Power of Night Demon already. Skuro's not a small man. Yeah. Into the mat he goes. Come on, Skuro. Show us that you've still got the old Skuro <laughs> magic. Oh, he's getting his fingers bitten by it. That's all right, the Skuro is used to this kind of stuff. He's a true veteran. He knows to endure the first parts of the match. He is the master of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> That's a hundred percent honest, true statement. <laughs> and Skuro chose that himself, so yeah. In case you're wondering what uh, what Rick's talking about there, of course, you can see shit on his uh, on his T-shirt. It was Skuro's High Intensity Tournament. It was an amazing an amazing venture uh, parallel to the JFW, and it was glorious. Oh, wow. Just bounces off Night Demon. Oh, my word. And look what he had in reply. Skuro's offense just not making inroads at all here. And Night Demon absolutely oh, destroying him. Deary me. Whoa. Oh, zombie. Oh, oh no, yeah. Zombie! This is it! This is it! It's another Night Demon squash! <laughs> it's just I too can't good. believe it! I can't believe it! Surely. I in a Skuro I trust! Surely not. Skuro will kick our ass. Yeah. Oh! Yes, yes, oh, yes. They're that. still fighting good old Skuro. <laughs> good old Skuro. Come on, show some uh, Boston uh, violence there. <laughs> Say he's still fighting, but but where's the fight? Right now he's a mannequin. Oh, Night Demon, absolute brutality here. Power and agility. He's going to be regretting kicking out of the zombie. Blessed with genetics, cursed with a horrible personality. To watch. This is rough to watch. Hasn't been a glorious uh, performance from Skuro, but you know, it, normally he's 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 at his peak backstage, isn't he? And this is uh, this isn't his ideal environment in the ring. Oh wait a second! He comes with a second win. He's found so I think it's a first win. He's found something. <laughs> He's a score as a master tactician. Oh, last long. Which reminds me when I was eight and I used to beat up my four year old brother. This is terrible. <laughs> absolutely. Oh. One oh, my God. oh, my goodness. His neck's been broken. That's absolutely it. How is he still kicking out? Next on bay, though, and it's GG. Yep. And there it is. There it is. 
We've hardly seen a move from Skuro. This has been horrific. Yeah, it's been it's been a bit tragic for Skuro. Two, three. <laughs> oh my God! Back to the mushroom patch, Skuro. Back to the mushroom patch. <laughs> my God, what's gonna be needed to stop Night Demon? Can he even Night Demon be stopped? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Let's be a second right photographer than a third right wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> How long has that oh been saved god. in Rick's oh bank? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and people say that I am the worst. <laughs> Nicest guy in Blood Bowl there, everybody. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Call the police. Someone is shoot the screw on the back 30 <laughs> times. <laughs> Holy shit. Amazing. <laughs> what an ending of the Monday Night Club becoming a standard, a victory of Night Demon. But the shadows are looming. The big shadow of Goliath Games is looming over Night Demon. Yeah, Quad Skulls are back, Goliath's in the mix. Who knows what's going to happen with all these guys. Well, thanks, probably probably horrible. Horrible. <laughs> thanks very much, Rick and Fimey. Glorious as always. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thanks, Jim. Awesome, man. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.